In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a custom Elementor widget in real life project. Maybe you want to create a layout or block, but what if you can't achieve this with the available widgets in free or pro Elementor version? So knowledge of creating custom Elementor widgets will help you overcome this situation. Let's watch this video and I will show you exactly how. Hi, this is Jamal, a WordPress developer and an Envato Elite author. Here you will find videos on WordPress, website and social media strategies, web development and UI UX. Please consider subscribing to this channel if this is something you are into. Let's start. I am creating two separate videos for this. In the first part, I will create a very basic Elementor widget, a card like this with the title and description field. And in the second part, I will apply some of the advanced features to this widget. For example, this widget you see has a lot of extra controls like typography, color and some other controls. So we will try to apply some of these features to this widget. Okay, first thing first. We need to install Elementor. You can skip this part if you already did. So from the WordPress dashboard, we go to plugins and then add new and then search for the plugin Elementor. Install it and activate. So the plugin Elementor has been activated. Now let's create our first Elementor page. From the dashboard, we go to pages and then add new, input the name of the page. We name it a uh, custom widget. And then click edit with Elementor. Here you see all the widgets listed in the left panel. So our new custom widget will be listed somewhere here. Let's get back to the actual part. I have created the widget and tested already. So I'm going to copy and explain. So it saves time. So for the first part, I'm considering you have very basic PHP knowledge. We are creating a very basic plugin for this, which will have only two files. One, the plugin main file and other, the widget file. The reason I'm creating this custom widget using plugin is because this way you can install it in any WordPress website and create as many custom widgets as you want. If you don't know much about WordPress plugin, don't worry. This plugin itself has a very basic few lines. You will still understand even if you have zero knowledge of creating WordPress plugin. Okay, so let's go to our WordPress directory, VP content, and then plugins, and create our plugin folder. I name it Essential Elementor Widgets. And inside the folder, let's create our plugin main file. I name it same as the folder. So it's a PHP file. So now let's open the plugin main file and put the initial plugin declaration. So here you see this is the plugin name, description, so all the basic things. If you want to know more about WordPress plugin, then follow the link in the description. So with these basic lines, WordPress can recognize our plugin. So if we go to the WordPress dashboards and then plugins, uh, you see our plugin is here. Cool, right? We just created our first plugin. Now it's time to write our code. So let's activate our plugin and then go back to the plugin main file where I will put a very basic check. So this line is for security. So no one can access our plugin files directly. Now moving to the main things, we will now register our Elementor widget. I'm going to follow the link uh, from Elementor website where you will find all the things related to 
Elementor widget development. So I'm going to follow this. I will put the link in the description. Okay, so let's register our widget. I'm going back to the plugin main file and then I'm copy and pasting some lines. I will explain. So here with this function, here this line, we are including our widget and then with this line, we are registering our widget. So we will soon create our widget file, card widget.php, and inside that file, we will write our widget class, Essential Elementor Card Widgets. Now we add an action to hook our code. So what is this action hook? I have written a very simple explanation for you. So actions are a very big features in WordPress. An action is a piece of code that we can use in WordPress to add our new features without editing the code files. For developers, Elementor also provides many predefined actions to add our own code at a specific points of the Elementor. These are called hooks, kind of we are attaching our own code with hook to those specific points. So in this example here, we are using the Elementor action hook Elementor slash widget slash register to hook our extra widget. I will create a separate video on action hook. Please subscribe to this channel to get notified. So in short, with this function here, we are adding an extra widget to Elementor using this action hook. I hope you get it. So we have achieved a milestone. Our plugin file has been created and we have included and registered the widget. Okay, so let's now create our Elementor widget. Let's go to the plugin folder and then create a subfolder widgets. And then inside the folder, we create our widget file that is card hyphen widget.php. Okay, so we have created the widget file inside the widget folder. It is because we have written it here. Now start writing our widget code inside the widget file. So let's open the card widget.php and inside the widget file, we will first write a very basic check for security so no one can access the files directly. Next, we will write our widget class. So this is the widget class, Essential Elementor Card Widget, which is extending Elementor widget base. And our widget code goes here. This widget class must be the same as we wrote here in the plugin main file. So within the class, we will write our first function. So this function name is getName, which returns this card, which is the ID of the widget. It is kind of the machine name. We can name it anything, but the best practice is to write something human understandable. Okay, so now move to the next function. The next function is getTitle. So this get title function returns the human readable name of the widget. And this essential elementary widget is the text domain we have written here. It is because if you want to translate your plugin to another language. So if we now go to the dashboard, let's save the file. And if we go to the dashboard, then you see in the left panel, our essential card widget is here. Okay, so let's move to the next function. Our next function is get icon, which returns the icon of the widget. So if we save the file and go to the dashboard, then you see after refreshing the page, you see our widget has this icon. You can assign different icons and all of the icons you will find in this link from the Elementor website. So you can assign a lots of icons available here. I will put the link in the description. Okay, so 
let's write the next function the function name is get custom help URL where you can put a URL of the widget for example if you want your user to get some help from that URL about that widget then you can put the link here so when we will complete the widget you will see the help URL here so if your user click here then they will go to that link so the next function is get categories and in this function we can put the widget in a specific category so here it is returning the general and it means if we go to the dashboard then you see this is the general category and our widget is here under the general category so you can write some code to have a specific category and then put the widget to that category so i will create probably an elementor series for covering these advanced things so please subscribe to this channel to get notified okay so moving to the next function our next function is get keywords which returns some keywords so with this function we can write some keyword here and that means if we go to the dashboard and search with this keyword then you see our widget will appear here okay we're halfway to this tutorial and now i'm requesting you to please hit the like icon below the video so it reaches to the more people okay so now the most interesting part we will now code our widget field so we will write the protected function register controls and within the function we will write our widget field code like title and description and the code goes here so in the elementor website here at the link you will find all the controls listed here for example here is a regular control of the text field and here is the section uh, a tab content and also like other controls here like text number text area and so on so i will put the link in the description in this widget we are mainly using uh, a text control a text area control and a control section okay so let's get back to the widget file and within the register control functions let's write our first uh, control section so we are starting the control section and then ending it and within this control section i mean this is the starting and this is the ending and within this we will put our input field here so i'm explaining it more so let's go to the dashboard and if we create a section let's say like three column section i'm deleting one okay so and search for our widget uh, elementor uh, sorry it's a card so this is our widget so if we put the widget here you see this is the content so what we write here in the label field this is the content so it is coming here and uh, with this tab content control we are telling that this part should be within the content tab i hope you understand okay so now we will declare our text field control so if we write this then you see this is the card title this is the id of that control field and with the level here this is the human readable name of the title field and this type here is the text control and with the level block uh, it is for uh, appearing the uh, block uh, i mean the title block in a in a block uh, section and with the placeholder here you see this is the placeholder text of the uh, title field so if we now refresh the page here then you see our first uh, text field card title is here okay so let's write our next control that is the description field so this is similar as uh, our previous control the only difference is 
in the previous control we use a text field and now we are using a text area field so if we go to the uh, dashboard and then refresh then you will see the card description field is here okay so we're done with the register control function where we wrote our text field and the description field so now it's time to write the code which will return our widget output so we will write the render function which will render the widget output in the front end and in the preview so our code for outputting the widget goes here so within the render function first we will write this so with this we will hold the values of the field within the settings variable as an array and from this settings array we can access the values of our card title and description field so here the card title hold the value of card title field and the card description hold the value of card description field from this settings array so now the very last part we will write some HTML to echo our variable so here with the ht tag we are echoing the card title and with the p tag we are echoing the card description so if we now check the dashboard and go to the widget then when we write the card title and write some description so here you see the, uh, the widget output it become a bit narrow so let's change the uh, template to Elementor canvas and let's see how it goes so it's loading yeah so here is the widget output so we're done wow we just have learned how to create a custom Elementor widget that's it in the next video I will extend this widget by applying some typography and styling to it Please subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to get notified. In the description, I will put a link where you will find the code of this widget. Also, please check the description below for some awesome WordPress themes. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.